Hey YouTube, what's going on? Chris here. I want to bring you all an update on XRP. Right now we're at that 40 cent mark. If you all have noticed, 40 cents has been a really tough area for XRP. We've really been battling in that up and down. We've been basically between around that 40 all the way to the downside around 37 to the upside. We've been around that 46 and that's just the area we've been in for guys probably almost about a month or so now. And what we're going to do today, we're going to pay attention because it's looking like a break may happen here. And what we're looking to see is if it's going to be to the upside or the downside. And that's what we're going to dig into. If you guys like these XRP videos, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Tell me down low what you're thinking about XRP right now, which way you think it's going to go. And also, guys, you want me to keep covering XRP, hit that like button. I appreciate you being here with me. So what I'm looking at... As, as we start here, this yellow trend line down here, this is the one that must hold for us. As you see, we've had very slightly higher lows off that, but that's the most important trend line that we can focus on right there. We do not want to be breaking below that. But what we're looking at now is this trend line here in yellow that's going up. And what you're seeing is we're fighting right now with this 20 EMA in orange. We're slightly below it, but besides that, we're up above the 50 moving average, we're up above the 100 moving average, and we're up above that 200 day moving average. And we had a golden cross of our 100 day moving average over our 200 day moving average, as well as our 50 over top of that 200 day moving average. Excuse me, and that's helped push us up a little bit, guys, in this move here. But now what we're looking to see if we zoom into this, Hey, I'm really going to get in tight for you. We're going to see if this trend line holds. If we end up getting good volume off here and we continue to come up, first we try to challenge around 41 cents, around almost that 42 cents. Then it would be up to around that 44, then ultimately around 46 is what I'd be looking for there, guys. Now to the downside, if we're to break to the downside, I'd look for support around this 50 moving average, and that's going to be around 36 cents right there. And that's also going to correlate with this support that we'd have over here. So you'd have a moving average and you'd have a type of support that was old resistance we broke through we wanted to become new support that's the key and then we just work down through the moving averages but right now guys it's about being patient and seeing if today we can get back up above this 20 day ema close up above that and then continue to make a move to the upside what i do like though is that we're having higher lows on here and now that i can zoom in guys i can change this just a little bit for us we'll go off the real bodies there there we go so higher lows are being put in, but we're also having lower highs. So what you're seeing on the RSI down here is that higher lows, lower highs, we're in a symmetrical triangle. And since we've been in an uptrend, symmetrical triangles, guys, they're, they're neutral. You want to wait for the breakout point. So you would want to wait to see if this line starts breaking out to the top or breaking out to the bottom. We're basically at the apex right now. And basically what you do is once it breaks out, if you have good volume as confirmation, that's the time you would want to jump in because those symmetrical triangles, they can act as uh, continuation patterns. So if you're in an uptrend, they can break more so to the upside. If you're in a downtrend, they can break more to the downside, but they can go either way. It's a neutral pattern. You want to pay attention to that and if you haven't studied the symmetrical triangle go ahead into my playlist that i have and i have probably about i think 40 videos or so 35 or 40 videos in the symmetrical triangle is on there and what we're looking at is the encyclopedia chart patterns to identify that symmetrical triangle and i give you all the facts in there and everything guys so really take advantage of that and our rsi right now is at 50 so we are just dead even we're waiting to see which way that surge of volume is coming into the upside or the downside. And what we're going to do, we're going to go through a few more indicators as we back out of here. I want to show this to you. So ultimately, guys, I did this to work our way up. These are my main targets here. So we're looking at 46 cents if we break hard to the upside. Then past that, we'd have these little hesitation areas around 50 cents. And then it'd be around 51 cents. But I didn't want to put those just to have too many lines confuse people. Next stop would be up around 55, and then it'd be 57. Those are the main areas up top, and that's a lot of percentage gains if we were to start moving to the upside there, guys. Very important. And what you're also looking at here is we had this huge spike of volume right there, and we started to fade off. Volume's fading off, so what we're going to wait for is to see if that next shot of volume comes in, and we set a higher high, and this will be our higher low. So we're paying attention to that. Next thing I want to go to for us is our stochastic RSI, and we're going to see how that's working. Okay, so on the stock here, guys, that's looking really good. We're at 18 and 12, so we are in oversold territory. So that gives us more of a chance to make a move to the upside. That's something that we're looking for. Say we're looking, we're on this trend line and our stock's way up here. That's a different look, guys. Then you'd most likely be looking potentially for a downside break, but it's good that we're lower here. It looks like we set a, a higher low off the MACD, and we're starting to have a bullish cross to the upside. So stochastic's looking pretty decent there. Let's take a look at the MACD.
All right, guys. Mac D. We had our bear's cross right here that lined up with that nasty candle there almost looked like a bearish belt hold candle got pushed to the downside and we're paying attention to that histogram looks like we're starting to become a little bit more neutral there we're going to have to see though and we want to pay attention to that cross see if we can get back up above that signal line on the macd next one we're going to go to is our bollinger bands right there Bollinger Bands were basically right below that middle band. So our middle band, guys, this one's hard to see. I'll just zoom in there for us. It's around 41 cents there. So that's acting as overhead resistance. So we're at that spot. Basically, guys, same deal, neutral. We could bounce to the upside or bounce to the downside. So this is where we really want to have plans, and that's why we plan this out and say, okay, if we go to the upside, these are my targets where it potentially could hit. To the downside, we're going to look at these moving averages as support. And then I also wanted to do a Fibonacci for us. One second here. And we're going to go off this move. Kind of a little micro fib here. Guys, at the start of this move, we'll see where we retrace to. So right down in here, right off that 50, that is a common spot. And that's also correlating with that trend line. So this is a decent decent area here, guys. We're going to have to see if we do make a move to the upside there. We'd have to get through that 0 0.382, which is going to be around 40 cents. And then to be the 0 0.236 at 43, then ultimately up to where we had all these wicks right in that area but i love using fibonacci i don't get into it a ton with you guys but me personally when i'm charting i really enjoy using the fibonacci and i'll look at it in many different ways the next way that i want to look at it okay so what happened was we were having lower highs i'm sorry lower highs here and lower lows coming in and we got pushed to the upside so i'm going to take this swing high and guys, look how high this wick ended up getting. It got up to 80 cents. So what I'm going to actually do here is just go off the real bodies to have a little bit more accuracy just because that wick was so overextended. Go from about right there down into there. And guys, look, we wicked up through that 0.618. That is such a common spot when you get these reactions to the upside to see some profit taken around that 0.618. So that's an area I always look for. Bitcoin, especially through the bear market, that 0.618 reaction, that's where you found it basically all the time. And we we're having those sell-offs and it go down to the 0.382, like where we're at now. And then we'd bounce back up a lot of times and try to get back over the top there. So that's what I want to bring to you all. Just a quick one here. We're at 40 cents right now, dead even. We're up 1.7%. You know, we're just in that neutral territory, patiently waiting the break because it, we could get a really nice bounce off this trend line, or we really could have a sharp drop to the downside. So, you know, guys, pay attention to this. Wanted to bring it to you quickly. Don't want to waste anyone's time here, but that's what I'm seeing on uh, XRP here. God bless each and every one of you. Take care.